<laughs> All right, I mean, this is like a ridiculous amount of yarn for just one week away. This one is even bigger. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lisa, and welcome back to a new little knit vlog. This intro is a little bit weird because when editing, I found out that I didn't do a proper intro, so. Here I am <laughs> now filming it a little bit after the clips you will see next but welcome back to a new video I usually do crochet and knitting videos here on my channel and this is a little knit vlog I will give a little bit of an introduction first because it starts a bit uh, abruptly but I went with my knit club friends to an alpaca farm a couple weeks ago and I filmed some clips there and then after that I went on vacation and everything like that. So let's get started with a little knit vlog. Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Morning. Almost fell asleep on soon. <laughs> I yawn at the display. Third stay meeting down. of the day. So stop up. But I can hear raindrops that on the roof it's like they're calling out don't lose your youth cause I can stay inside and step away inside oh may today just a little less oh, Monday no oh. I stay inside and step away inside oh take today oh doesn't it the <laughs> the alpaca farm was so 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 nice i will link it in the description which one it was but you could also buy yarn there that was from the alpacas that were living on that farm so we actually i didn't buy anything but some of my knit top friends did and then afterwards we were trying to figure out which alpaca it was from because the alpacas had their names the written eye. on that yarn as well which was so amazing and one of them was called Emma and one of my knit club friends is also called Emma so we were looking for her name twin alpaca oh. 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 Da kommt die. So lief. Oh, it's so good. Why? Oh, yeah. 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 Ja, dat is goed. Dat heb ik ook altijd, dat ze dan mensen Ja, dat zou het kunnen herkennen. Heel veel mensen zeggen dat het wel echt op gezien. Ja, ik krijg veel van die video's van... ...van, you can't run Vince with the Netherlands, this is the Sims. Ja. Wat is dat dan weer? Ja, ze hebben niet zo goed gebit allemaal. Ik heb het wel achter. Nee, die ook. 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 Nee, ik zit echt wel midden op. Ik moet heel netjes. Oh jee. Heel goede pastuur even. Geluid. Ja, ik kan Okay, 
It is Saturday. It is Saturday morning, afternoon, something like that. I have just recorded a knitting podcast, so my room is the biggest mess you can ever imagine because that's always the case after recording a knitting podcast. Yesterday was so incredibly fun at the alpaca, alpaca farm. I had such a good time with my knit club friends and it was amazing. The day was so, so, so fun. I had the best time ever and yeah. Again, I'm so grateful for all of the amazing people that I've met through my knit club and through my channel and Instagram and so, so, so nice. And the alpacas were so cute. I mean, look, I still have one alpaca here at home. I already had this one, this gigantic little or little big stuffed alpaca one, but it was so fun. And right now I am also going to do something. Is it fun? Yeah, it kind of is fun. I am going on vacation tomorrow in the evening, I'm leaving and I'm gonna choose which yarn to take with me for the project that I am working on because I'm not entirely sure. I have some whips that I need to finish and I want to of course take the yarn for that. I also want to take some yarn for some new projects because I'm leaving for one week kind of so I want to take more than enough yarn with me so I have something to knit during the whole vacation so yeah let's take a look at my stash and decide what type of projects i'm going to be working on in the next week so this is the current state of all the yarn and things and whips i have and i want to organize it a little bit so i know exactly what i'm taking with me to my trip to south the south of france and have a good balance between easy projects and like fun more challenging ones i guess because i will be traveling by train so i want to have some train knitting so i want some easy products that i don't have to think about too much but i of course also want some more challenging ones <laughs> let's organize this stuff mm. first i want to take of course the whips that i am like actively working on and the one I am working on most right now is this one. This is camisole number five. And I only need to do the neckband ribbing and the armhole edges. So I think that this is like gonna go with me for sure. And hopefully I can finish this in the first few days of my vacation. And I'm putting it in this project bag. And where is the extra? Here is the last scheme that I have. And these are the needles I'm using for it. Three millimeter needles. So that is like my most active whip I have right now. So I want to work on that one. And then my other whip I'm actively working on is a sock. The zigzagular sock. And I am putting that in here as well. And I'm also going to be taking my little, my little sock needle set with me. So these are like the two most active whips I'm working on that I think I will be taking with me in the train as well. And then I want to take some extra stuff with me that I'm not entirely sure if I will end up working on them, if I will find the time to work on them, but maybe we will see. I want to take them with me anyways, because my worst fear is to not have enough yarn when I'm away from home. <laughs> and I will be putting everything in this bag. First of all, I have this yarn. This is Knitting for Olive Silk in Copper that I want to make a summer top with. So I'm tossing that in here, so hopefully I can cast that on. Then secondly, I have this little frog whip that I want to finish. So I'm putting that in here as well. And the needles for that I will have in my Lika case. This is some sock yarn that maybe I want to cast on a sock with, but I I honestly don't think I will have time for it, but we will see. And then I have this top that I'm already working on. This is the Knitting for Olive Trille, 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 Trille top, whatever. And I casted this on already, so I'm going to take that with me as well. I'm tossing that in this large yarn bag as well. Hopefully it all won't get too tangled, but I think it will be fine. And then lastly, I need to find the yarn for this, is I want to start working on my second heart stopper sock. I don't think I will be taking all the colors for the duplicate stitch with me, but I think I will be taking 
the pink yarn so I can at least um, start working on the cuff. So I want to grab that pink yarn as well. Hmm. Right now, I'm actually not really sure anymore if I did it on 2.5 or 2.25 millimeters, which is of course super stupid. So hopefully I can find it somewhere in my notes what I did end up using. And then I am taking my, this is just one little bag that I have like needles and stitch markers and things in. So I will be taking that with me. Taking, of course, the Chago little set. Uh, my Lika needle set. Let me actually... And hopefully all of this will fit into this tote bag. No crochet projects right now. Not really crocheting uh, anything, so... Maybe once I get back, I will get start on a crochet project again. But right now, I'm not really crocheting anything. This fits in here. All right. I mean, this is like a ridiculous amount of yarn for just one week away. And I'm pretty sure that I won't be able to work on all of this at all. But I just like having enough with me and... We're going by train, so it's possible to take a lot with me. It's not uh, by plane or anything. So this is it for one week. <laughs> yeah, it is a ridiculous amount, but I really enjoy working on knitting while I'm on vacation. So yeah, and then I also, maybe you are interested in that as well. And if not, you can skip this part. I want to think of some books I want to take with me because I want to read a little bit more on vacation as well. Um, and I have some books here that I haven't finished yet and that I really would love to read. I think at my mom's place I have Crying in H Mart that I really want to... Or in K Mart, H Mart. Crying in H Mart, I think. That I really want to read as well. And lately I I've started um, reading this one. This is One Last Stop. I think I want to take that one with me. Also for on the train because it's like suiting. And I have Before My Actual Heart Breaks by Tish uh, Dila Di Dilani, Delaney. And I have also, I think that one is very beautiful, is this one. I got this at the thrift store a while back. It is A Thousand Splendid Sons by uh, Khalid Husseini. I think I really want to read this one as well. But I'm pretty sure I won't be taking four books with me, so tomorrow I will make... A decision, but a decision, 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 decision. Yeah, my English right now is a bit rusty, but uh, I'm gonna be taking these ones at least with me to my mom's place to figure out tomorrow what I am gonna be reading, taking with me for reading on vacation. And then I had to get up super, super, super early to catch the train to go to France. And we had the worst delays ever. It took us like, I don't know, 14 or 15 hours to get to France. But we finally got there in the end. Okay, I feel like you can see barely anything. But I'm in the south of France. It's incredibly hot. It's like, I don't know, 30 degrees. Oh my god, I'm really burning here in the sun but it's so beautiful here i mean look at the terrace behind me view really amazing and i'm working on still on my capsule number five let me get you because this is no way of filming let's see i will show you the view oh my god i shouldn't be in the sun doing this i mean Look how freaking gorgeous. Wow. So beautiful. I'm dying. But here is my camisole. And it's still actually a little bit too hot to be working on this. I wish I would have brought some cotton or something instead of merino. But 
yeah let me show you the downstairs area of our airbnb that i'm staying in here for the next week yesterday was an absolute nightmare getting here with the trains and everything but we are here now so that's everything that matters of course i'm walking down the stairs now because we have an upstairs terrace and a downstairs one let me see here was the upstairs terrace then we have all these stairs to get downstairs and here we have a second terrace Ta -da! and in here is our house and I'm sleeping there on that window and don't these windows remind you of Beauty and the Beast But let me show you the camisole. Mm, I will put you down. Here it is. Looking so nice. I need to finish the double-edged ribbing on this side still. I have a little bit more to go. And then I need to do the neck ribbing and then it's finished. And I'm hoping to finish it before my birthday, which is the day after tomorrow. So if I'm a little bit quick, then that should be manageable. <laughs> I was a little bit awkward because there were people walking by but what I was saying was that I finished my camisole number five and it was my birthday the next day and we went to a little town or not so little a city called Perpignan and we just walked around there and I had the best day ever. again sitting in the garden because right now it's like noon it's 12 or something so it's fine weather wise yesterday was so fun i enjoyed my birthday so much and thank you so much for all the happy birthday wishes it really feels amazing i'm someone that doesn't really like their birthday a lot i mean my god am i sunburned probably 
for all of us people who also have their birthday in the summer, you will probably feel the same way that like it's fun but not super special. I never really celebrated that much, but I had a really, really, really good day and yeah, I'm just gonna do nothing again today here in the heat. I might end up knitting a bit more on my sock, but this weather is not for knitting, so I'm mainly just <laughs> doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> And then after a week, I left my family behind to get back to Amsterdam. But first, I took a night train to Paris to spend a day there. And it was my first time ever getting a night train. And it was quite an experience, but I would say in the end, it was a positive one. in Paris, look behind me and I'm gonna go to a couple of yarn shops now because I have a layover there between my trains so I have until probably like four or something to look around so yeah I can wait to see the Parisian yarn shops I'm super super curious I went to a shop called Lil Weasel and it was actually located in the Passage in Paris and one of my followers actually recommended this store and it was so 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 cute I was debating between these two yellowish yarns and I just looked around and it was amazing then I took some lunch from pret -a manger and went to the Jardin du Luxembourg and had my lunch there in the most beautiful location you could ever imagine i mean paris never never fails to amaze me and after that little solo trip day in paris it was time for me to get back on the talis again to amsterdam and we are back now in the present and uh after getting the night, not a night train, after getting the train back to Amsterdam, I'm back in my apartment again. And I promise to still show you what I got at Lil Weasel, that little yarn shop in Paris. It was super nice and of course I had to buy some stuff even though uh, I didn't need anything. But I was there, I wanted to buy some yarn as a little memory of my one day in Paris by myself but I got a little bit more than just one skein of yarn but yeah let's start with the yarn that I got it is really really pretty wow yeah it's incredible this one I was debating between two different ones but I got this one in the end it is from little little g little ch little mm, difficult to pronounce L-I-T-L-G Life in the long grass Oh, that's so cute It's fine sock merino yarn Very pretty And I'm planning to make the bumblebee socks um, with this by Fiber Tails As you could see earlier in the video, Kim, one of my friends She was making these socks and they were so cute So when I saw this yarn out, I was like, oh my god, I need to make those socks with this yarn So that's what I got And then I got some little tools as well let me take everything i got these dpns by i think haya haya or hiya hiya something like that they are 2.25 yeah i hope they are actually 2.25 yeah yeah two point yeah they are 2.25 millimeter double pointed needles they are metal ones and i can't wait to uh to try these out because they look very very nice and smooth and they were a bit more expensive they were 10 euros and 30 cents this yarn was incredibly expensive as well so uh, we're not going to talk about it 
Paris is an expensive city, okay? So I spent a ton of money in just one day. I got an extra cable for my Thiago little set. This is a 75 centimeter cable because I wanted to do magic loop for like toes and things and I don't have the right cable for that. And then lastly, where are, where is it? Ah, uh, here. This I saw and I thought it was so cute. These little stitch markers. I will uh, make a close up of them. They are really cute. They are by Doreen Box and they are little daisies and a B and everything. So cute. So that's it for the stuff that I got at the yarn shop in Paris. It was called Lil Weasel. The location was amazing. The shop owners were super nice. I would 100% recommend going to that shop if you are ever in Paris as a knitter or crocheter. So that's it for the little vlog. I hope you liked it. It was chaotic. It was a lot of places at once, but yeah, I, I thought it was very fun to take you along with me. So I hope you like watching it. I will see you again next week. Till that time, please stay safe. I love you all a lot. Doei! Yeah.